Hello guys, I'm Mr. Mechanic and I'm here with another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to uh, design this uh, 3D model in SolidWorks and here we have the dimensions. This is the top view of the model and this is the right view and uh, we will get help from these dimensions to design this uh, 3D model. Uh, before getting started, uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and post your comments. Your subscription and your comments give me more energy to upload more videos on my YouTube channel. So, uh, let's get started as soon as possible. Uh, here we have the dimensions. Uh, first, you'll have to close the model. For closing the model, just come here and click on close. Now, I have to make a new part. For making a new part, just come here and click on new part. Okay, now we have a new part. Uh, I'm going to uh, draw the sketch of the right view. Then uh, we will uh, revolve the sketch. So, uh, we have to choose a plane. At first, it doesn't matter which plane choose, but click on. But I suggest you to uh, choose the fl uh, front plane. So click on the front plane and click on uh, sketch. Now we have uh, open a sketch. The, the sketch is open. Uh, choose a center line and draw a vertical line. So uh, start uh, drawing the line from the origin point and draw a vertical line and right click and select. Now choose the center line and in option turn on the infinite length. Yes. The center line is moving and we have to make the center line constant origin point. So hold the control button and choose the point and the center line and give it constant relation. You can see the color changed to black and the uh, center line is not moving. Here choose a line and here draw a vertical line and a horizontal line here and, lo and the line here and the vertical line. So you can see as I move the line a yellow symbol here appears. It means that if I click on the screen, the vertical relation here is, will be applied to my line. Here, choose a three-point arc and draw an arc here, a three-point arc. And here, choose line. And uh, here, draw a horizontal line, a vertical line, a horizontal line here, a line. And we have to draw an arc. So uh, I can simply come back to the first point and you can see I can draw an arc. So and a vertical line and a line here and a horizontal line and right click and select. Now hold the control button and choose this point and this point and give it constant uh, and the merge relation. Sorry. Uh, let me uh, move the sketch a little bit. Yes, uh, move the sketch a little bit. Sorry, we have to. Uh, it happens sometimes. It's a little bit annoying. So, uh, let me move the sketch. I think I had to apply the uh, uh, relations. So, uh, let me uh, choose the smart dimension. The dimension from this uh, line to the mirror side of the center line is uh, 48 millimeter. And the dimension from this line to the mirror side of the center line is um 72 millimeter yes let me uh, move the sketch and that's okay let me see no uh, yes here choose a smart dimension the angle of this line is uh, 45 degree and the uh, uh, dimension of this line is uh, 4 millimeter the radius of the arc is uh, 4 millimeter and here hold the control button and choose this line and this line and uh, give it equal relation choose a smart dimension the dimension of this line is uh, 16 millimeter and uh, let me move the sketch yes here hold the control button and choose this line and uh, this line and give it uh, equal relation and uh, choose this one and this one and do the same thing equal relation because uh, they both have the same radius uh, the angle of this line is uh, 45 uh, degree uh, yes 45 degree and the dimension from um, this line to this line is uh, 32 millimeter and uh, let me move the sketch a little bit um, it's sometimes annoying, really annoying. Let me move the sketch. Yes. Here, choose a smart dimension. The dimension from uh, this line uh, 
to this line is uh, 24 millimeter. Yes, and uh, move the sketch. The dimension from uh, this point to the mirror side of the center line is uh, 64 millimeter. And uh, here choose the uh, here hold the control button and choose this line and this line and give it collinear uh, relation. The sketch is not still fully defined because uh, it is uh, still uh, moving. So the dimension from uh, this line from this line to the mirror side of the center line is uh, 108 millimeter. So uh, the S sketch is not as self-fully defined because it is a moving yes. The dimension from uh, this point to this line is uh, 8 millimeter, And the dimension from uh, this line, this point to this line is uh, 6 uh, millimeter. Yes, 6 millimeter. And uh, the S sketch is not as self-fully defined. Yes, hold the control button and choose this point. And the origin point and give it horizontal relation. The sketch is full defined, everything is black and the sketch is not moving. Here comes the feature and uh, if you don't have the feature tab, you can uh, simply uh, turn on or turn off the feature tab here. So here come to the revolve and here in selected contour, uh, choose uh, this region and don't turn on these two options. Here must be uh, 360. Here choose this line, the center line, and OK. Yes. Here we have the model. Now all we have to do is just make uh, six holes on this surface. So choose this surface and click on a sketch. And in uh, view orientation, uh, choose this view. This view is much better. Yeah. Here choose two point circle and draw a circle and right click and select. Now choose this circle and we have to make the circle uh, constructed. So in options, turn on the for construction and click on OK. Now choose two point circle and draw a circle on this uh, constructed uh, circle. So and right click and select and in um, and here choose a circular pattern. We have to pattern the circles uh, here. Choose entity to pattern and choose this circle and in uh, in parameters in the first parameters. Uh, choose the origin point, yes, and here must be equal spacing, uh, here must be 360, and we have to, uh, we need uh, six patterns, yes, and click on OK. Now choose the center line, and connect the, uh, the center of this arc to the origin point, and this one, and again choose the center line and connect the origin point to the center of this arc, this circle, and right click and select. Here choose the center line and in option in uh, add relation is uh, give it a horizontal relation yes and choose the smart dimension the dimension of this circle is um, eight millimeter and the angle of uh, this center line to this center line uh, this one to this one sorry uh, the angle for uh, angle of from this line to this center line is 60 millimeter and here is 16 millimeter uh, the dimension of the uh, circle is uh, the bigger circle is uh, 88 millimeter and here come to the feature and click on extrude cut and uh, here must be through all here must be a sketch plane. Don't turn on these two options and click on OK. Now over here we have the model. Now all we have to do is just apply a color. Uh, here hold the control button and choose the revolve uh, the, uh, the revolve and the cut extrude. And in this appearance, for example, we can change the color to red. Red is, I think, much better. And in uh, view orientation, uh, we can choose the many different views. For example, um, this view, no, this view. This view is much better, and uh, in edit appearance, we can change the color of this surface, for example, to, uh, for example, we can choose this surface and change the color to green. Yes, uh, I will leave the link of the dimensions in the captions. Please um, uh, practice at home and do it yourself. Um, please watch my previous videos. I have uploaded over uh, six, uh, 60 videos on my YouTube channel about 
drawing and sketch designing uh, 3d models and um, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and put your comments your subscription your comments give you more energy to upload more videos on my youtube channel thanks for watching this video